is Extra Extra, a special look ahead at music in 2022. I'm Jane Stevenson for Sun Media. Well, after a major lull in the music industry, things are coming back with a vengeance next year. Fingers crossed that the new variant doesn't throw a wrench into things. First of all, we're looking at Las Vegas residencies. People like Adele, Michael Buble, John Legend, just to name a few. Adele, of course, is the star of all things music right now. She is going to have her weekends with Adele at Caesars Palace from January 21st to April 15th as she plays 24 shows in support of her blockbuster album, 30. Now here's the kicker, the tickets, with prices ranging from $5,000 to $85, sold out in about six hours. And the Daily Mail is suggesting she'll make as much as $2 million a show. This is kind of the perfect scenario for Adele as a single mother to a young child. She can literally fly home every night after a show in Las Vegas to Los Angeles where she's currently living, or stay in Sin City if she wants to. Among those on the road are the Wonder Girls, as I call them, Billie Eilish playing arenas, Times Musician of the Year, Olivia Rodrigo playing theaters, even though she could sell out arenas in probably a second, and Lord, who's also playing theaters. Olivia Rodrigo is the clear star of this very famous group. She was recently nominated for seven Grammys for her debut album, Sour, which was also named the number one album of 2021 by Rolling Stone, and she has Spotify's top stream song of 2021 with her breakout hit driver's license other big names on the road in 2022 include elton john foo fighters red hot chili peppers all playing stadiums justin bieber roger waters eric church james taylor with jackson brown new kids on the block rage against the machine my chemical romance the killers with johnny marr and iron maiden and arenas doobie brothers with michael mcdonald keith urban santana with earth wind and fire and jack white all playing amphitheaters and ringo star, you know him, you love him, is back playing casinos with his all-star band. Also should note that The weekend did have a pile of arena dates scheduled for 2022. He decided to scrap those dates and wants to come back with the stadium tour and we're still awaiting the dates on those. Well the Grammys are back in January 31st and this time hopefully they will be inside the Staples Center. Last year you may recall they were outside in a very non-traditional, very tiny setup without an audience. Uh, Trevor Noah was hosting last year and he did so well. He He's back this year and he's a welcome return. One of the kind of strange things about this year's nominations is that John Batiste, the late show with Stephen Colbert's band leader, is the leader of all Grammy nominations with 11 nods. Now, nothing against John Batiste. He's an amazing musician and he's kind of a, a bright light on Stephen Colbert's show, but he's not exactly somebody that people will, I think, tune into the Grammys to see. On that front are other uh, multiple nominees, Justin Bieber, Billie Eilish, and Olivia Rodrigo, who are all multiple nominees and I expect all three will clean up. In the controversy category, because there always seems to be something wrong with the Grammys, uh, Drake, Toronto's own Drake, withdrew his two Grammy nominations for the 2022 ceremony without explaining why. He was up for Best Rap Performance and Best Rap Album. However, he was missing from the big category of Album of the Year for Certified Lover Boy, which debuted at number one on the Billboard charts and had the biggest sales week of the year at the time with over 600,000 units. Again, Drake has always had a contentious uh, relationship with the Grammys dating back to 2017. If you're curious about this year's ceremony, they'll be on January 31st from 8 to 11.30 on CBS and Paramount+. Plus. And we can't talk about 2022 without mentioning the Super Bowl halftime show, the most watched show on the planet. This year, it's a hip-hop and R&B extravaganza. We have Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Mary J. Blige, and Kendrick Lamar all set to perform on February 13th at SoFi Stadium in Englewood. And they've got at least one ringer in there. Mary J. Blige blows the roof off most anything she plays. It remains to be seen how the rest will do. This is kind of a show that commands a big over-the-top performance, the likes of Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, Madonna, J-Lo, to just to mention a few of the female performers of the last few years. So basically, go big or go home, and we'll see what happens when it comes to that particular event. Let us know what you think of the these stories on Facebook and Twitter, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel below.